we hear, we either accept or reject. Or we translate what we hear according to our knowledge, our background. Or we compare what is being said to what is already known. Or we oppose one idea by another. All these characteristics of hearing denies the act of listening. When one listens, there is no comparison, there is no acceptance or rejection. That very act of listening brings about a total attention in which you see the totality and the whole significance and structure of what is being said. The quality of listening is attention. And when you attend totally, with your whole mind, with your heart, with your nerves, with your eyes and ears, completely, intensely listen. When you give your whole attention to something, that is when you are completely listening. In that state of attention, there is the act of listening. And that act of listening puts away anything that is not true. You listen to the totality of the thing. When you attend, there is no borders of inattention. And that act of listening is a really a miracle. Perhaps it's the greatest miracle. When one can listen totally, without any defense, without any barrier, then one can look, then one can listen. Look, sir, if I want to understand what you are saying, I must listen to you. I must listen to you with affection, with care, with attention. Because I want to find out what you are saying. But if I say, yes, I agree with you, I have heard this before, or you are saying something new which is impossible, you are not listening. We are destroying each other, right? The terrorists, the capital, the, all the rest of it, we are destroying each other, because we want each one of us feels he is separate. And if you see the danger, then you will listen. You are already in a state of acute listen to find out that there is a way out of this. Right? Are you listening that way? <laughs>